What happens after your embryo transfer day by day? Hi there, I'm Dr. Jen, naturopathic doctor, here to explain what happens after your embryo transfer day by day. First, I'm going to explain what happens after we transfer a blastocyst. A blastocyst is an embryo that's approximately five to seven days old, and it has two distinct layers, an inner cell mass and an, a trophectoderm. The inner cell mass becomes the baby and the trophectoderm becomes the placenta. The day of embryo transfer is referred to as day zero. And over the next two days, the embryo is going to continue to develop. It's called embryo evolution, and the embryo has to kind of hatch and burst out of its shell called the zona pellucida and expand and become larger. Starting around day three, we have implantation beginning. Implantation has three key steps. We call them apposition, adhesion, and invasion. Apposition happens when the embryo is in close proximity to the endometrium. Adhesion happens when the embryo comes into contact with the endometrium. And then invasion occurs when the cells start to intertwine into the endometrial space. These three steps take approximately three days and happen between day three and five post-transfer. Once the implantation process is complete, that's when we will see the pregnancy hormone or beta-HCG starting to be leaked out into the bloodstream.